Yo guys, YouTube keeps on setting my videos as made for kids, so this video is made for audiences 13 and above. Yup, and while we're here, don't forget to smash that like button down below and to subscribe with the bell notifications on. Yo, good day, good evening and good afternoon. What's going on people, it's Daniel GT. And of course, welcome back to another awesome evolution video. So on today's episode, we have evolved Dark Gasha into the 4D system. So of course, we've taken our Dark Metal Wheel and evolved into the Death 4D wheel. You know, both of these metal wheels are both well rounded, except the Dark Wheel was pretty bad. The Death Wheel was absolutely bonkers in terms of performance. It's a great um, defensive metal wheel. Yeah, so the Death Metal Wheel will be an amazing upgrade for our evolution in today's episode. So moving on, we have our spin track that is the C120 spin track. We've evolved that into the TH170 spin track because same gimmick, except one is much taller. And then, yeah, we also have a semi flat performance tip right here. We've evolved it into BSF because it's also taller, it's also wider as well. It's just a larger evolved version of the uh, semi flat performance tip. So, that is pretty much our evolved cancer evolution for today's video. And trust me, I know a lot of you guys are thinking this combo sounds pretty mid. Your mind's about to be blown. This combo, this combination right here, is absolutely bonkers. As we're seeing right now, it's tanking hits from Flash Sagittario in its attack mode. So yeah, in today's episode, we're going to be challenging a bunch of amazing stock 4D Beyblades because I truly think that this Bey can defeat all of them. So you know, we're going to see Blitz and some other cool Beys as well. We're also going to do a Battle Royale at the end of the video because why not? Anyways, looking like we're wearing now Sagittario, you know, the Metal Wheel has high recoil, meaning that it's going to lose a lot of stamina of each hit. So despite being on a BSF performance stick compared to WD, yeah, we're actually going to win by spin finish and yeah, Sagittarius looks like he's about to go down. Can we win though? Sweet, awesome. So we take the first round, which is absolutely insane. Time for round two, let's go. Hopefully we can get a KO this round or, you know, at least we don't get killed by Flash. We didn't get killed by Flash in the first round, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, it's time for round two. Let's go, people. Bruh, yeah, you know what? Fair enough. That wasn't the craziest knockout, although it was our first knockout for today's video. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Honestly, I'm just happy that we're not getting knocked out by Flash in today's video. We seem, we seem to be tanking and either out spinning or knocking out Flash, which is a great thing. It's showing us that our combo is pretty damn awesome. But yeah, as always, it's time to move on to our next round. Hopefully, we get the dub again, but you know, we could also just lose very easily. That's how it is with high recoil metal wheels like the flash wheel. It could seem like it's in our favor one moment and then out of nowhere, we lose. Yup, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, man. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, flash was long overdue a revenge round. So you know what? We're switching modes. I switched our, you know, our death crab evolution into its lowest form, which should render the flash metal wheel ineffective as we're seeing right now. We seem to be swooping underneath the flash wheel, so, so flash shouldn't be able to KO us as easily anymore. And yeah, we okay, damn, that was a nice up attack on flash right there, but can we knock it out? I mean, we could from what I'm seeing right now. Although it's looking likely that we're just going to destabilize flash and just outspin it. But yeah, I mean, we're 2 to 1 so far. So this combo is doing very great as long as we don't lose this round, then we'll be going 2 to 2, that would be bad. But yeah, so far, our combo seems to be doing great and Flash looks like it's about to go down and Flash is... Yep, Flash is down, sick. Ah uh, yeah, so it's time to move on to our next base. So next up, we're going to be challenging Spiral Capricorn. Now, I know this isn't a 4D babe, this is just a test round. I want to see how well it does against a great stock Beyblade like, you know, Spiral Capricorn. And after this, we're going to be moving on to Blitz Unicorn. What did I say guys? This combination is sick, but yeah man, obviously we're going to win, so it's time to move on to our real challenge. So next up we're going to be challenging, yep of course, Lit Unicorn. Now this is going to be a sick round. 
bro, look at our combination, man. I don't feel like Blitz can get a knockout on us in today's video. Don't forget, we're in our lowest form right now, so I can... Oh, god damn! Fair enough, bro. So, yeah, we managed to knock out Blitz in the corner. Don't forget, Blitz in the corner is for Bay with rubber on the tip as well, so that was absolutely mental. Anyway, so I've just changed the spin track into its second tallest height, so not the tallest, but the second tallest option, so... We sh I want to see how what it can do in this mode. If I use the tallest, then Blitz just wouldn't have a chance because, the, you know, our bay will be too tall. For so Blitz, will take any effective contact with our bay. But this height, I want to see if our bay still can, you know, evade Blitz at an angle, but have to still have the, you know, the height to get a knockout on Blitz as well. So this combo is very interesting. I'm loving the variation of it. Now, we could also switch for Metal Wheel, although I'm not going to be doing that in today's episode because I feel like Riders nerf it. But yeah, so far, once again, it's doing very well. Although, I doubt we're going to see KO on this round. We're very likely just going to outspin Blitz Unicorn. Yep, and it looks like we're about to win, and yep, and the dub goes to our Gasha Evolution. Why am I not surprised? So yeah, let's put it on its tallest height this time around. Let's see if we can actually dodge um, Blitz in the corner fully. And yeah, the speed just jumped up on our Dark Gasha. My bad, our Death Gasha. Yeah, let's see if we can actually make contact with Blitz though. Maybe I should have flowered it better. My bad, I kind of flat launched it there. Okay, yeah, no, no. Now it's closing in, I can really see how tall it is. Yeah, this Blitz bait is not going to be killed on us this round. No knockouts. Yeah, unfortunately, we fully rendered the Blitz wheel ineffective now. Yeah, we're definitely going to win that, win that spin finish. This combination is really good. Damn. When I was making this combination, you know, I thought it would be fun at the very least. I didn't think it would be this good against stock bays. But no, this bait is doing really, really good against stock bays, man. This combination is sick. But yes, guys, if you're enjoying today's video so far, then be sure to smash that like button down below. Yeah, I'm in complete and utter disbelief. We actually defeated Blitz in multiple rounds. We knocked it out and we've, and we've outspun it as well. This is absolutely mental. But yes, guys, it's time to move on to our battle royale. It's the battle of the tool base right here. You know, duo, playing Bix's Flash and our evolution. Whoa, what a sick knockout right there. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, this battle royale right here, it is going to be sensational. Then again, it's not going to be sensational. It's already sensational because this is already awesome. But is our evolved cancer bay going to win? Mm, you know what? Joe's here, so it's unlikely. But you know, second place wouldn't be bad either. You know, if we could defeat Flash and Arm um, Flame Mixes. And yes, sick, awesome. So there we go. So it's basically just Joe versus our combination now. Unfortunately, Joe is definitely going to win. You know, it's better LED and the dual wheel that weight distribution is just mental. This bay, the dual wheel was just sick, plain and simple. But yeah, man, our combination has done good in this battle royale and in today's video in general. Yep, so duo one, it's time for the next round. So yeah, guys, did you enjoy today's evolution? Do you think its evolution is bad, good, or just all right? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I think this evolution is sick. You know, the parts are very unique and it still turned out to be a great combination. So I for one definitely enjoyed making this video, recording this video, editing this video. Without a doubt, this video was a delight to make. You know, all the parts of this bay are so unique and it still turned out to be such a fun and great performing combination nonetheless. So yeah, this does conclude today's video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, don't forget people, if you enjoy this video, then be sure to smash that like button down below 
And if you're not subscribed, then you know what to do. Check out this video. We'll finish this video. I guess the video is also finished as well. So that's my bad way. So check out some of my other videos if you like the videos. And if you like my content, then yeah, be sure to smash that subscribe button as well. But other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Peace out and have a fantastic day.